President Trump has fired Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, which brings us to a segment we call Couple Things. First thing, Tillerson found out that he was fired from a Trump tweet. Even when you get fired from Domino's, the manager takes you into that crappy little office and tells you to your face. <laughs> Tweets are for finding out which band is in town or which airline was mean to Chrissy Teigen. <laughs> and, of course, Trump didn't fire Tillerson to his face, just like he didn't fire James Comey to his face. Basically, if you're over six feet tall, Trump wants no part of giving you bad news. <laughs> That's why he's jumping at the chance to meet with Kim Jong-un. He's how short? Oh, I'll look like a giant next to him. <laughs> Second thing, I'm not saying Rex Tillerson was a great Secretary of State. He had the energy of a 14-year-old bloodhound on his third mint julep. He always looked like he was walking through a fart cloud. But if you're gonna fire cabinet secretaries for being bad at their jobs, let me refer you to Betsy DeVos's appearance on 60 Minutes. Not only was she wildly uninformed, but 60 Minutes is also her longest workday so far. Also, side thing, why fire Tillerson today? Well, just yesterday, Tillerson said the attempted poisoning of an ex-spy in London, quote, clearly came from Russia and that the incident will trigger a response. Hey, just don't, he just didn't know the response would be, clean out your desk. <laughs> Third thing, hopefully what we're seeing with the resignation of Gary Cohn and the firing of Rex Tillerson is the end of this myth that serious people can rein in Donald Trump. If the White House is a fraternity in an 80s movie, Tillerson was the dean. And the Dean never wins in an 80s movie. <laughs> now, listen up, Delta House. I'm going out of town for a business trip. And I don't want trouble while I'm gone. Oh, sure thing, Dean Tillerson, I promise. <laughs> I promise we won't do anything to get you fired. Final thing, the only thing more puzzling than people agreeing to work for Donald Trump 18 months ago are people who are agreeing to work for him now. I mean... I get the first few ninjas who thought they could take down Uma Thurman and kill Bill, but what was the last guy thinking? <laughs> oh, I get it. If I come at her from the right, also I'll yell first. And don't get me wrong, I do feel some sympathy for the Cones and Tillersons of this administration, but in the same way I feel sympathy when someone gets attacked by a gorilla at the zoo. And that my first thought is, oh, that's horrible. And my second thought is, why'd you go into the gorilla cage? <laughs> We've got a couple things.